Well, today I thought I'd uh, make a quick tutorial and show everybody how I make the recent wormhole video for work. So we've got a default cube here. I'm going to delete the default cube. I know, poor old default cube. It always has to go away. Now press seven to enter top view. Got a pesky draw, screen draw error there. Let's get rid of that. I'm going to. I'm first of all going to add a path, a curve object, a circle curve object. Go into edit mode. Scale that up in edit mode. Doing that to make sure that we don't change dimensions. I'm going to edit this a little bit to give it some deformation, so a bit of a path to uh, to traverse for our camera. And I might subdivide this as well, select two points. Press W to subdivide. Down up there, down there, yeah, over there like that. Make it a little bit more extreme. Out of edit mode. Now, whilst the cursor is in the middle, I'm going to add another. Uh, this time, while well, the cursor is in the middle, let's try adding a curve object. Let's clear that position with Alt G. And this time, we'll try beveling with circle object. There we go. That was better. <laughs> Select our initial path, select our circle as the bevel object. Now I want to parent the camera to the path, so we turn on Z, select our drag path, and the other one is the bevel circle. So the camera is going to follow that path, so via constraint, follow path, we want to use worm path. What we need to do is move down here because you'll notice that it's following the path. See this blue line? So we are following the path, but it's offset. We need to have the same object location for the camera as our path. So if we clear its location with, I'll turn off this first. So if we clear its location with Alt G, look at it's in the middle, same as this is with Alt G. And now if I turn on the constraint, you can see that it snaps to the path and now it will follow the path. Now I want it to follow the curve, so looking forward. Now we need to find the right orientation for it to look forward. X is red, so I'm going to make X up. Oops, X up, following Z. There we go. So it's following the Z of the path, and it's pointing X in the up direction. We could mine, could make it. I said to the other way. So if we look inside from the camera's point of view, this is what it looks like. Key frame the offset with an I key and go to the last frame, 10, 10 seconds left, and key frame again, but this time we move it to about the same length, key frame. If I change my view to the graph editor, and select that offset, press the home button to find the graph. I select all and press the V key and change that to vector. So now it's a straight, um, a linear motion, so it doesn't slow down or speed up during the motion. Pop back to 3D view and play that, and you can see that we're going backwards through the wormhole. Actually, we want to go forwards through the wormhole. Let's change that again. So. Put that up there, 
constrained to the Y, drag this down, G constrained to the Y. All right. G and X. And if we go back to 3D view, play again. Now we're going forwards. Now I can't see too much of it. So what I'd like to do is make the camera angle wider. So we go to camera mode. And just whoops, 15 degrees. Now we can see all of what's coming towards us. If I go into edit mode, we can't see anything inside. So it's too dark to see anything. Let's pop over now to node editor. Oh, there we are. And we're going to edit the material. Add a new material. I think I have the right thing selected. Bevel circle. New. And delete the diffuse material. Add search for a mission. Mission. Mark that onto surface. Go to, uh, let's split a new window. Drag this down, make this a 3D view, like that. Shift Z to render inside. Okay, might change. Oh, path, sorry, I had the wrong one. I need to make the path eliminated with our material. Which material is it? That one. Okay, wrong one, this one. Okay, it's eliminated all very wide. I'm going to add a texture, so input, sorry, add a texture. I'm going to import an image texture, which I just happen to have loaded. And I know that it is a movie. And if I come over here to its properties, I go match movie length, or go and sound click, and plug that in there. Let's wind down the Value so we get the sampling so we can actually see it happen quickly. So five samples, five samples. Now we're not seeing anything because it doesn't know where to map the image, so it's just all getting mapped. It's white, apparently. So the image should. So we need to uh, add an, another import. We need texture coordinate. And I'm going to go with generated. So it's just a street scene, people walking down the street. Might actually go with the UV. Yeah. Add a mapping node. I'm going to change the scale. So I just get bands of colour. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my very quick uh, rundown of the wormhole effect that I made at work the other day. Hopefully it uh, makes it on air into the story that I'm doing about the uh, broadband network in Australia. Uh, anyway, thanks very much for watching and uh, hopefully I'll get another tutorial up very soon.